Should Porsche's new KN Turbo GT appear in your deck of top trumps chances are it will stand a strong chance against whatever cards your opponents are holding. 631 brake horsepower and a 627 pounds feet, an additional 89 brake horsepower and 69 pounds feet over a KN Turbo Coupe are a Super Saloon rivaling set of numbers. So to the 3.3 second 0 to 62 miles per hour time, 6th tenths quicker than a turbo, and the 189 miles per hour top speed. And it will also lap the north loop of a specific German race track in 7 minutes 38.9 seconds, quicker than the fastest hot hatches can be thrown around the 12.9 mile lap. Regardless of its ability to win you a hand in a game of cards, you have to ask what's the point of a 2,200 kilograms, and the rest, SUV that's been honed, tuned and finessed by not just Porsche, but by its ludicrously talented GT department that's responsible for GT3S and the such like. Partly because they can, but also because love them or loathe them, the market for such vehicles is where there are enough customers waiting with £143,910 to boost the company's profit line. When we say the GT department has developed the car we don't mean they've completed a few laps of WASAC and updated a couple of lines of engine management code. The twin-turbocharged 4-liter V8 has been comprehensively overhauled with a new injection system and internals for the turbos and the crankshaft, conrods, pistons, and timing chain are either bespoke or have been thoroughly redeveloped for the turbo GT. The result of the above work is to allow for high peak loads and to maximize the V8's throttle and turbo responses. This has also required the ZF 8-speed automatic and the four-wheel drive system to be thoroughly overhauled to match the engine's newfound eagerness, which has also resulted in an additional cooler for the gearbox's transfer case being fitted. In the Turbo GT this is less of an issue, if one at all, as the revs continue to rise the pace barely lets off. Like its Italian cousin, the Euros, it makes other performance SUVs feel anything but. Match with shifts from an auto box that would make some double clutch units look slow and the turbo GT leaves you wanting for nothing when it comes to experiencing a level of performance that your grey matter struggles to pro.